steps that need to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many when the old one's gone under the knife. And I can feel the sun on my skin. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Thank y'all so much for joining me as always. So, as you saw, we just made Hayden a lunch, fed sister some breakfast, I made my coffee. Obviously, I've gotten ready this morning. Who am I? <laughs> the next thing on the list is to get Harrison awake and get him ready to go off to school this morning. Also, I'm gonna be making that vegetable beef stew today, so I wanted to share that with you guys. This is a recipe that's just kind of like been in my family for a long time. My mom used to make this a lot, and I'm not certain that I make it 100% like she did, but it's very close. If you're new here, hello and welcome. Thanks so much for joining today's video. On this channel, you will find grocery hauls, cooking, real life motherhood, and lifestyle videos. So if that's something that you're into, I hope that you will decide to subscribe and stick around a while because we would love to have you. I don't really have a whole lot to get into today, honestly, but I do need to call the Office of School Readiness for Harrison because it is time to set up his preschool screening for next school year. Um, he'll be eligible to start pre-K and so I'm hoping and praying that I can get him in the pre-K program in the same school that Hayden is in. However, Hayden will be gone from that school, but it will start him on that journey for school because the next year he'll be in kindergarten at that school. So. Um, I do need to go by Hobby Lobby. I've got some party supplies that I need to pick up that you guys will learn about very soon. It's kind of something that I can't really talk about right now. I'm going to go wake Harrison up now, like I said, and then we're going to take him to school. When I get back, I'll get dinner started in the crock pot. Good morning. You about ready to go? Oh, give mommy a hug. I love you so much. You're so sweet. Come on, it's time to go. Go get in your car seat, please. All right, you guys, I've made it back home. And so since it's Monday, I typically do a crock pot recipe because Hayden has jujitsu on Monday nights. And it's always nice to just come back home and dinner be ready to kind of eat. <laughs> I'm going to do a vegetable beef stew today. And like I said, this recipe is kind of, you know, I mean, it's a simple recipe. I think everybody and their mama has made a vegetable beef stew in their lifetime. So I'm just going to share with you guys how I do mine. It's kind of like how my mom used to do it. And so I couldn't find any beef tips in the store, which is what I typically use. So I'm going to use this um, chuck roast. I'm just going to cut it up into bite-sized pieces to use as my meat in my stew. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that. Really the only thing that needs to cook the longest are is the meat and the potatoes. The rest of the stuff that I'm putting in there is frozen. So honestly, I'm probably just going to add that in like an hour before it's time to eat. So focusing on meat right now. We're focusing on the meat.
All right, so we've got our chuck roast cut into bite-sized pieces. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and throw them in the pan. I like to sear them kind of on, or kind of like brown them, I guess you could say, on um, the outside. I feel like that that kind of like seals in their moisture and stuff and helps them, you know, stay moist. So we're gonna go ahead and brown them now. Alrighty, so while the meat is browning up over on the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my potatoes. Like I said, they do, well, these are yellow potatoes, so they're a little bit softer, so they're not gonna be, they're not take as long as like russet potatoes or whatever, but I am gonna go ahead and remove the skins just because I want to. You don't have to, but we're going to. Inside of my crock pot, I've already added the potatoes in. You guys just saw me cut all of those up. Here's the meat, and I am going to just pour it all in. Pour it all in here. The gravy and everything. Voila. Now, like I said, I am going to add the veggies in later, and that's because, well, they're already cooked. They're in a frozen bag, so there's no need to cook them to death. What we're going to add here is my OG3 um, cream of mushroom soup. I'm adding in two cups of the Better Than Bouillon um, beef base. Oh great, it didn't get mixed up. <laughs> it didn't get mixed up. I lie, I lie. Well, it's fine, it'll mix all in. <laughs> it's fine. We can mushroom, can mushroom soup going in. And the last element to the OG3 is my French onion soup mix. All right, and then next we're gonna add in, hello, if you can see, some tomato juice to this. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a good stir. Sister's waking up, she's not happy. I've got this put on low. Now, it's on low. I'm gonna put the lid on and we're gonna just let it do its thing. Look who's awake. She's rejuvenated and ready to go. What are we getting into today, sis? We got some stuff to do. Are you ready to go with me? Yeah. Can you say hi to everyone? So, it's so funny. I was just looking over my comments. Because <laughs> you know, guys know, I just, I love my comments from, from my people on all my YouTube videos that I post. Every once in a while, I'll get one that yeah. is just kind of, yeah. you can tell that it's somebody just trying to yeah. get yeah. you. Yeah. So I don't really get offended by that stuff. It just kind of makes me laugh and I think in my head, hmm, what can I say back to kind of just be funny or whatever. So I got a comment that, you know, cause I think I was kind of complaining that I had to go into the store in my last video. Yes, I'm spoiled, I can't help it. But um, the person put that I was a lazy customer like everyone else. Thanks, I appreciate it. There's one thing that I'm not, and that's lazy. I'm not lazy. Okay, my girl. Anyway, that stuff doesn't hurt my feelings. Just so y'all trolls know. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna load this up. We're gonna head out and get get some running done. Jeff stole my gloves that I used to wash dishes with because my fingertips get so bad. So I've gotta go to the Dollar Tree and pick up some more of those as well because they're the best. So we're gonna get going.
My Dollar Tree has had really weird hours lately and almost no stock. Is yours that way? Also, I don't know if you guys are aware, but they have increased their price to $1.25 on everything. Yes, that's great. Alrighty, so we just left the Dollar Tree. I spent about $23 in there. Just got a bunch of random things. Um, I could share with you guys if you'd like, but um, I may do that whenever I park here at Hobby Lobby. So I just called and scheduled Harrison's preschool screening and I was fine. Like I've been good with it the whole time. I'm like, whatever, because he's been going to school. Until I texted the date and time to Jeff and he texted me back a bittersweet it's making me feel all emotional and stuff now. <laughs> January, I've just been a puddle. A puddle. All, all of January. I need to get my life together. <laughs> I'm just too sensitive. I'm sitting right here at the light right in front of Hobby Lobby. I'm fixing to pull into Hobby Lobby. I'm sitting still at the light. So, yeah. We're going to go in there next. I'll show you guys what I got at the Dollar Tree, too, though. Party. I know this is a weird angle. I got the boys these little squishy pals. I don't know what the deal is with children these days and these squishy fidget toy things, but whatever. I found those. I also went ahead and bought several pairs of those reusable gloves because I use them to wash dishes. My fingertips and stuff where I wash Stevie's nipples and bottles and stuff like that just tear my fingers apart. So, like I mentioned earlier, Jeff stole my dishwashing gloves to use for plumbing. So, I did not want them back. <laughs> you can keep them things, okay? So, anyway, I got several pairs of those because I'm going to let him have some of these to put on his work truck. Van. He has a van. I was sitting there looking at my legs before I got out of the Dollar Tree and I just realized how much lint was on my pants. So, I haven't had a lint roller in forever. But anyway, I saw this one. It has 45 sheets on the big roll and then it has 25 sheets on the small roll. I figured that that would be something nice just to keep in the car. I found this little guy here and I think Harrison's really going to love it. Um, it lights up but you got to turn it. There's a light inside. See? Anyway, I figured that he loves to paint stuff and color and things like that so I figured that would be a nice little project for him to do one day this week. And he is absolutely in love with dinosaurs. As you guys saw, <laughs> I picked up this magical poop marshmallows. My boys are, I don't want to say obsessed with poop, but they talk about it quite a bit. Do your boys? Or is that just my kids? Anyway, I thought that they would get a kick out of that. Harrison, we got him a pair of wireless headphones for his birthday but that's not until the end of February and he has been like bugging the crap out of me for a pair of headphones for his iPad so I know these won't last long but they were only a dollar 25 so I think we'll live and then the last thing that I got was three bags of these tiger pops here and I have in mind for those obviously Valentine exchange I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet, but I did end up getting three bags of those because 
they're swirled. They're uh, strawberry and cream flavored, so I figured that, that would be something nice for the boys to take for Valentine's change. All right, we're going into Hobby Lobby. guys I could literally walk in Hobby Lobby for hours and just just look just look I'd want to take it all home with me too but we like to look all right we're done we got some stuff we needed I guess we're gonna head back home until time to get Harrison she has scratched her face she officially <coughs> looks like Scar from <coughs> the Lion King congratulations sissy <coughs> We just hanging out in Bradbury's room where he's going to go pick him up from school. So, I think I told you guys I have this um, thing behind Hayden's door to mark each year of his, you know, growing older. And so, this is, is Harrison's. I had to take it down because he kept ripping it down. But I promised him that I would put it back up. So, Jeff was home for just a minute, so I had him help me put it up. It's hard to believe that he was that tall at three. <laughs> I'm anxious to see how much he's grown this year. All right, so this is Hayden's. I got this at like a Christmas show many years ago, but he is this tall this year. So he's like five foot two and a half, he's almost as tall as me. So every year I have marked his little birthday on here. And I've got it hidden behind his door because he's too cool for all that little baby stuff now, but I don't care. I gotta have it. Hello, how are you today? Hey, I'm great. How are you? Awesome. What are we doing? Um, may I get one uh, Fiesta veggie burrito? Um, can I get one um, cheese quesadilla without the spice? May I please have one small uh, Baja Blast and one medium Baja Blast? One Baja Blast. That's the one. You need to get back in your seat. All right, we're back home. We're sitting in the driveway. Harrison had to go to the bathroom, so he jumped out already. But I'm going to sit here and eat my lunch because Stevie is sleeping in her car seat behind me. And why not? So, anybody else eat in your driveway? <laughs> Just me. I got the Fiesta Veggie Burrito again. And then Harrison got just a cheese cake deal with no spicy stuff on it. And of course, the Baja Blast. So this is what it looks like. Obviously, it's a burrito. I don't know if we have much about it, but it's a really good. That would be good. Sissy's awake. Hey. Yay. Hey, Spider-Man. How are the new earphones? Huh? <laughs> How are the new earphones? Good. Do you like them? Can you hear your iPad okay? I can't hear your iPad and that makes me happy. <laughs> That's fine. How was your day? Welcome home. Got my report card. Ooh, you got a report card, huh? And are you gonna have to um, be grounded? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, let's go inside. All right, you guys, it's 10 after 4, and it's time to go ahead and get the rest of my dinner together. 
the meat and the potatoes have been cooking for quite a while now and so I'm gonna go ahead and add the veggies in and let them kind of just marry with all the other flavors but I want to tell you guys that and I meant to say this like the last time I went to Taco Bell but how frustrating is it when you get your drink and the lids just like come off or they don't fit the cups really well Taco Bell has like really up their game their lids like I mean, you have to go around the whole entire thing to get it to pop off. Isn't that not awesome? Especially for kids or Jesus. They just love to take those lids off in the car, don't they? But anyway, I'm just going to put me a Diet Pepsi in here because my Baja Blast has done got watered down. But I have an idea. What's that? We can trade in there. In there. In there. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so... Help you. Here's what it looks like before I add the veggies and stuff in. <sighs> looks really good. All right, so I've got this two pound bag of a frozen mixed vegetables that I got on my grocery haul this past week. And I think I'm gonna, I might add like half of it and see how it does. I think I usually only add one pound, but let's see. Oh yeah, no, I think we're gonna need the whole bag. Okay, so two pounds, <laughs> we're gonna add all of it. Add all of it? Yep, we're adding it all. What? Two pound bag of frozen mixed vegetables. And we are pushing the limits on this bad boy right here. We surely are. <laughs> so I've still got it on low. I'm going to put the lid back on. And I'm going to make my cornbread. And whenever we get back from Jiu Jitsu, we'll be ready to eat. We have all made it to Jiu Jitsu and it's just about time to go in. But we had a small little hiccup on the way out the door. Sister is still asleep, so I had to call my neighbor to come over and sit with her. So she's not with us, but Harrison is and he fell asleep back there. He gets his best naps in the car. So we're gonna go ahead and get Hayden in here. Probably Harrison and I are gonna sit in the car and just let Hayden go in unless Harrison wakes up, which he may. Mm -hmm. 